So basic to all Tai Chi is Tai Chi walk, okay? So we're gonna come forward, so I'm gonna move back, okay? And you're gonna follow as best you can all the elements that I describe. Good Tai Chi posture, hands at your waist, pivot on your right heel as if you're zigzagging and walking into the right direction. Shifting our weight to the right foot, grounding down, take an L stance with your heel of your left so that that foot, when it's flat, will be on a line or parallel to the tile of the floor. Rotate your hips and waist, flatten down, bow stance. Sit back, sit down. Pivot to the left, walk in that zigzag direction, put your heel out on an L, round the crotch, down, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, walk in that right zigzag direction, shift your weight, put out your L on your heel, turn the hips and waist, flatten down, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, Pivot to the left zigzag, shift your weight out on your heel, turn the hips and waist, flatten down, bow stance. Sit back, sit down on that imaginary stool, pivot to the right zigzag, shift your weight, put your heel out, turn your hips and waist, bow stance. Do you have a bow and do you have an arrow? Sit back, sit down, pivot out. Zigzag, heel on an L stance, then a bow stance. Okay, and just giving you a little bit of something new with our hands. You're going to hold your ball so that your left hand is on the bottom. You're going to put out your heel if you're left. The left hand is advancing, bottom hand to part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, pivot out. Right hand, right foot ready to go. Bottom hand advances, split the energy, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, pivot out. Ball for better balance, left foot, left hand, part the wild horse's mane, final third time. Half step forward, on your toe, spin the ball, sit back on your back foot, follow that right hand going up, Left foot on its toe, lift it off the ground, point it out. White crane spreads its wings. We're gonna drop the front foot as we tuck the elbow in and we're gonna imaginarily bisect our body to our Danten, swirl back, look back at a right hand that's higher and we're gonna multitask to brush your knee. Ear, heel, hand, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee, sit back, Sit down, pivot out. Left hand higher, right hand to your shoulder. Multitask, set it up. Ear, heel, hand, turn the hips and waist. Brush your knee. Last one, sit back, sit down, pivot out. Right hand higher, all together to brush your knee. Half step forward, sit back on the back foot. Rock the front foot, play the lute on your heel. Repulsing of the monkey. Center the front hand, back hand rises up higher. Just the opposite now. We're gonna multitask. Ear, toe, spin on the axle as you meet both hands in the center. Pull back, push forward, repulse of the monkey. Center, counterbalance with that left hand. Begin with your toe, lift, toe, heel, meet, repulse two. Center, higher, glance, weight on the back, lift, multitask, spin on that axle, and three, one more. Center, higher, glance, lead with the toe, weight on the back, ear, toe, heel, meet in the center, Four, oh, face the clock wall and hold your ball on a T stance. We're going to ward off, out and to the side, ward off or forearm your opponent. Turn your hips and waist, reposition your hands, grasp the bird's tail as you pull it down, 
turn back and look back, contact, turn again, push from the center of your body, separate the energy, separate the hands, roll back, sit down, spiral up, then forward. Twist step, hold your ball on a T stance, we're going the other way, right foot ready to go, right hand on the bottom. Out and to the side, ward off. Turn your hips and waist, reposition your hands as if to grasp the bird's tail. Look back, contact, turn at the hips and waist, push the energy out, separate the hands and roll back and sit down. Gather that energy and spiral forward. Twist step, cup. Nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, T stance, three o'clock, hook, out on an L, nine o'clock, single whip. Okay, all right, keep the single whip and turn towards the, the field now, okay? Left foot forward, left hand pushing, right hand with a hook. We're gonna be in cloud hands now, okay? Sit back, sit down, pivot, 12 o'clock cup, three o'clock, okay? This begins our cloud hands. Middle, 12 o'clock stem cup, nine o'clock, flip the hands, close the feet. 12 o'clock stem cup, three o'clock, two things happen, flip the hands, open the feet. 12 o'clock stem cup, nine o'clock, flip the hands, close the feet. Second rotation, three o'clock, flip the hands, open the feet, middle cup, nine o'clock, two things happen, 12 o'clock, stem cup, hook the right hand, T stance on your foot, across the hips, across the face, step out, single whip. Half step forward, Sit back on the back foot, up with your left foot, pat your horse on his mane. Cross at the wrist, step out to the left heel, gather the energy, center the energy. Bring it up, right hand, right foot up, kick out right. In, drop gently on your heel, look through your double punch as you punch your opponent's ears. Sit back, sit down, spin all the way around, looking at the road, left hand on the outside, left foot coming up, kick out, left, in, hook the hand, split the feet so that the toe is in line with your heel like last week's lesson. We're going to be a serpent slithering in the grass. Post down on the right, halfway when your fingers are down, Pivot out with your left heel, set as a golden cock, uh, set, spin up, left foot grounds you down as your golden cock roll. Toe, spin, left hand is your hook, right hand is at your shoulder, split, come down, right fing uh, fingers on the bottom to allow you to turn towards your right to set, as a pendulum, you're gonna spring up and come up as a golden cockerel. Heel comes down, you hold your ball. Heel comes out, right, right hand goes to your forehead, turn the hips and waist, the maiden shuttle's on her right. So this is our lesson for today. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, left hand on the bottom, left foot ready to go, spin the ball to the forehead, Turn the hips and waist, put the shuttlecock right there. Take a half step with your right foot back and set up your hands for needle to the bottom of the sea. And we're gonna cover all of this today so good that you don't know what to do. You will give me a good lesson to now deflect and parry and then punch. Strip the guy off of you. Roll back and sit down. Power yourself and push him out one last time. Twist, 
everybody should know how to close because we've closed in Yang Ten form. Embrace the tiger, push him in closer to you, push him away. And drop your shoulders, flex your knees as you now recycle all that energy coming back to you as you now close your form. Okay, Tai Chi walk. Okay, moving back slightly, coming forward, hands at our waist. Good Tai Chi posture. 50-50. Pivot right heel out and zigzag. Shift your weight, root down to the right. L stance on the left heel. Turn the hips and waist, flatten down. Bow stance. Sit back, sit down on that stool. Pivot out as if you're walking into that left zigzag position. Heel out on an L stance, straight on a line or parallel to the line. Bow the legs, flatten down, bow stance, bow and arrow. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, shift your weight, straight away. Round out the crotch, shift the weight, bow stance. Sit back, sit down. Pivot out, walk into the left zigzag position, heel out on a straightaway, turn the hips and waist, flatten down, bow stance. Sit back, sit down on that stool. Pivot zigzag to the right. Shift your weight, set out an L, turn the hips and waist, bow stance. So here we have it advancing, Tai Chi walk, which takes into consideration shifting of weight, spinning on the axle, good Tai Chi posture, soft, deliberate movements that are the foundation of all of Tai Chi. When we put our hands together, our feet alignment will be enhanced because we know that Tai Chi is not hands and not just feet, but together they form a whole body movement. One more, sit back, twist out, shift weight, heel, round the crotch, down, bow stance, sit back, sit down. Okay, go back to your original position and let me, let me kind of put some um, details into what you did very nicely. So Tai Chi walk only takes care, what we just did, takes care of our feet. And if you can remember when we uh, move into a, a, a 24 or a 16, we are doing our Tai Chi walk. Whereas in a 10, we are just doing, so you can see what we did coming forward is surely what I'm doing going to the side, okay? So that's how we advance, okay? But if you, um, so this is the basis of, and foundations of Tai Chi. So we want to get it down really pat so that we can add hand motions or upper body. I shouldn't say hands because it's not hands but it's the upper body and it's the, it goes nicely with our turning of our hips and waist. So I'm gonna do it the same way we were originally doing it and I wanna kinda clarify something. So we're at good Tai Chi posture, sorta good but not really because we have our hands at our waist whereas it should be down here. But for concentrating only at feet, when you pivot on your heel, both hips should be in this zigzag direction. One hip cannot go there and the other hip stay here. That's not Tai Chi. The principle says, turn on your axle. Shift your weight. Put out your heel on an L stance. Make sure you have enough of a span and make sure that when you drag that foot back, it's not close because you will not be able to turn your hips and waist 
to come down in a bow stance. In this position, it is allowing us to go straight ahead, no matter how much we zigzag on either way. So this is a very important step, as are the other, the other two major steps. Then I zigzag to the left. I walk in this direction. I step out on a heel, a straightaway, either on a line or on a, a parallel to that line. Turn my hips and waist, and I flatten out. So you can see that the feet are staggered and never in the same plane or line. This allows us to keep safe in that we can freely turn our hips and waist and our knees rather than I'm going to do something wrong where I do not take an L stance. I can't turn my hips and waist and allow my knees to freely uh, flow. So I need to come out, remember, out and to the side in a parallel to get me to back to where in the same alignment that I started with. But what complicates Tai Chi is that everybody, most everybody think that the hands are the stuff that really are, are beautiful and they don't think much about the feet. But that's totally wrong. The feet lay the foundation in which the upper body then has to follow and enhance. So we're going to shift our weight, we're going to swivel on our axle, and we're going to counterbalance. Okay, and let's see how that works. So this time, we're going to come forward, but we're going to use the Yang 16 form to apply to our feet work that we've just started. Okay. So I'm going to have to kind of make it up and modify it, okay? So here we are. We're going to start to warm up. Two without hands. Here we go. Pivot out. Walk in the right hand zigzag. Lay out your heel for an L stance. Turn the hips and waist. Bow stance. Sit back. Sit down. In substantial pivots to the left zigzag position. Heel on an L, turn the hips and waist, bow. Now we're going to get ready to hold our ball, but don't forget it's our feet that are the foundations. Pivot out, we need to balance, so left hand on the bottom, right hand on the top, holding our ball, L stance, part split your hands, bow stance, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, Left zigzag, ball for better balance, L stance, move the hips and waist, split the hands, bow stance. Half step forward means we're going to bring the back foot to its feet, to its toe, sorry, to holding our ball. Spin the ball to the right as we drop on our back foot. Lift up our left hand, lift up our right foot, point it down and get into this position called white crane spreads its wings. Weight is continually on the back. We're going to tuck our elbow in. How do we tuck our elbow in? It's right now it's out. I'm going to tuck it this way. Can you do that? White crane. Tuck it in. Okay? Tuck it in, drop your front foot. Tuck it in, drop your front foot. Now you're going to come down towards your dantin about, hmm, six, eight inches away from your body and split your body in half. Bisect your body. Swirl back. Set it up correctly. We're going to brush our knee. Lift the front foot up. Place it on its heel. Multitask to brush your knee. One. We do it two times. Sit back. Sit down. Pivot out. Set it up correctly. L stance. Multitask. Magic of brush knee. Two. The third time, we're going to pretend or start to do a brush knee, but we're going to deflect. 
see how we can use that same form to deflate. We sit back, no different, we zigzag out, we come up, shoulder, fist that shoulder hand, take an L stance, deflect, bring that back hand to parry, step out on an L, and punch. Touch, that means strip the opponent off of you. Roll back, sit down, spiral up, lunge forward. Okay, good. Then we get back to, but then we're gonna go into something that's better done and seen on a different angle, that's why we stopped. Okay, so yes, let's do it the regular way, this way, okay? So give yourself space, because we're gonna move to the left, okay? Not a whole big, big deal like the 24, but still you need room, okay? Good Tai Chi posture, commencing form, shift weight to the right, heel comes up off the left, on the toe, open, toe, arch, heel, rotate, take a deep breath in as we elevate, at shoulder level, make yourself small, drop your shoulders, flex your knee. Shift your weight to the right or back foot as you form a T stance to hold your ball. You're gonna take an L stance. L stance, move the ball, split the energy, go up the horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, pivot out, walk in that zigzag direction. Hold your ball for better balance. Step out on an L. Part the wild horse's mane too. We're gonna take a half step by putting our back foot on its toe, holding our ball for better balance. Spinning the ball, advancing the left hand, raising it up, put the toe of the right, and point it out. This is white crane, okay? So can you see that we were spinning the ball and spinning the ball and the left hand went up and the right foot counterbalanced and pointed out to hold our balance. So that is a premise or that is a principle. When, we, when I said to tuck the elbow, I don't want the elbow to continue to be where it is, but I want you to slightly bring it in and then bring it as if it were gonna cut your body, okay? So white crane, tuck the elbow, drop the front foot, bisect imaginarily to the ten, swirl back, set it up correctly, one higher, one at your shoulder. To advance, you're gonna get the weightless front foot, lift it off, put it on its heel, and multitask to brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, zigzag to the right, set it up correctly, multitask to brush your knee too. The third time, we're going to sit back, sit down, set it up correctly, but fist the right hand. Push it up, bring the other hand down, set the heel out. Spin out to the right to deflect. Bring the left hand over to parry. Step out and punch on a bow stance. Then we're gonna touch from the elbow. Open our palms. We're gonna roll back. Turn the palms down, sit down. Push up, lunge forward. Now this is when we get fancy and we do a pivot on our back or right foot. And then we do it on our front or left foot. The top matches the bottom or vice versa. You alleviate some weight of your ball of your foot of the back foot to pivot, then pivot on the front, shift the weight, hook the hand, T stance it. Left hand is off by your face, you're gonna step out on an L, turn the wrist, push the palm out, single whip. 
Okay, we're gonna go on and do all the 16, but I know that it's, it's not that easy, okay? Half step, you're gonna swirl the back hand, rock the front foot, and play your lute on its heel. So your weight is on the back, you're setting yourself up by playing the peepaw. The left hand centers your body and it's advanced. The right hand bends towards the elbow of your left, L uh, left hand. Weight on the back to set it up correctly. Drop your front foot, left hand stays in the center but the palm turns up while the right hand is setting up at a higher plane. We're going to repulse the monkey. We're going to do several things. Bring the top hand to our ear, and we're going to lift off the ground of our front foot, because the weight is on the back to hold us stable. Here we go. Lift, ear, stretch out on the toe, then the heel. Then you're in the zigzag position, and what are you going to do? You're going to swivel or pivot on the ball of your front foot, Meet in the center of the hands, and you're going to repulse. Push forward, pull back. Setting it up correctly. Right hand now is in the center. Left hand is up higher. We're leading with our toe, so no weight on the front heel. Everybody here? Lift up off your toe. Multitask, ear, toe, heel. Zigzag by pivoting on the ball, meeting in the center, repulse, two only. Now we're gonna use the words pivot and pirouette. When you pivot, normally it's on your heel, and that pertains to the left or front foot. When we pirouette, we're gonna put the uh, turn or rotate on our toes of the back foot, but we can't do it together, right? So here we go, one at a time. Pivot on the heel, of the front foot. Spin on the toe of your back foot would automatically bring your right hand up and the palm is towards the ceiling. It's like an inside out ball, if, you, if so to speak. We're gonna kick out with our right or front heel and we're gonna reposition our ball. Spin out with our heel, reposition our ball. Take a L stance, spin the ball, push, and put the shuttlecock right there. Put the shuttlecock on the opposite side now, okay? Sit back, sit down, pivot the front foot in, hold the ball. Put the left heel out, right hand comes to the forehead, turn the hips and waist, shuttles, all uh, right. Okay? All right.